Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news. The Springbok coaches have officially been confirmed uh, for the year. And some even bigger news, Rusty Rasmus has officially signed a new contract that will keep him in charge of the Springboks as the head coach until the 2027 Rugby World Cup. Massive, massive news. Really cool to see as well that he is going to be joined by Tony Brown, Jack Flannery, Yako Paper, as well as Dwayne Vermeulen uh, within that sort of Springbok coaching setup. Uh, we're going to go through the press release, talk a little bit about how every single person got a different role, as well as uh, some of the backgrounds of some of these people, um, of these coaches in just a second. But before we do that, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so what we did know is that Rassi Rasmus was going to be taking over as head coach. However, his contract uh, with SRA, we were set to expire in two years' time, in the 2025. And um, <clears throat> it has been confirmed now that Rusty Rasmus um, has returned to the head coach role, but that he will also be staying on until 2027, which means he will be overseeing the entire next Rugby World Cup cycle, which is kind of what we hoped or assumed, but we had no confirmation of. Um, let's go into the other coaching uh, announcement, shall we? Um, obviously, we've lost now Jacques Niaba as well as... Uh, Felix Jones, and we have replaced them officially with Tony Brown, who will take over as the Springbok attack coach, as well as Jay Flannery, who will take over as the new defense coach. A very, very, very interesting appointment is that the Springbok team will see a former referee in Yako Paper join them as a national laws advisor. That is an absolute masterstroke of an appointment. Uh, a lot of teams are doing this. They're bringing referees in to kind of understand how they can interpret rules, how the laws get applied, and how they can sort of live at the edge of the law book, really, and operate within the realms and the laws of the, uh, the, 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 of the, of the book. And uh, I think that Yaka Paper, obviously, being so experienced, uh, is, is a phenomenal choice. He understands the culture. He understands what it means to be a, a Springbok um, and to play with the Springboks and stuff like that. So I think for him to be adding to the Springbok staff is the perfect type of, uh, of of player to add. And then finally, completing out, is that uh, Dwayne Fermion has been appointed to a roving coaching role within all SA Rugby national teams. He'll become a third member of a MOBA, of a MOBI coaching unit where he'll be joining forces with Franz of September and Bafana and Sleko. And they'll basically rove around and work with various national teams, such as the youth teams, Blitzbox teams, for example, potentially, I don't know if they, that includes them, but, uh, you know, the women's sides and stuff like that. So really, really... A uh, good uh, addition to the start, uh, the coaching staff as well. So, Mark Asbana said the following. He said, we are delighted to announce uh, that Rassi Erasmus will take over the rings as the Springbok head coach once again, following his success with the team since 2018. And we believe that the continuity in the coaching structures and the exciting additions will be on good hands with the ultimate objective of claiming a hat-trick of World Cup titles. Uh, Tony Brown and Jay Flannery are both former international players and bring fantastic coaching experience and their skills will complement and Zodiac Stick, Dion Davids, and Don Human. And he said it's also a huge coup to have a world class referee in Yako Paper as a member of the management team and to retain his expertise in South African rugby, as understanding the referees and their analysis of the laws is critical to any team's success. He said that we are excited about the Springbok coaching team and will be thrilled to see how the double world uh, champions perform once they return to the field for the first time since we're lifting the web edits last year. Uh, he spoke about uh, Dwayne Fermion as saying, Dwayne has tremendous experience as a player and will take that IP into the coaching teams of our national of other national teams to give them an insight into what it takes to be a champion team. It also allows us to extend our own coaching base from within the ranks of Springboks with an eye to the future. Uh, speaking about his appointment, Rusty Rasmus said the following. He said, it is a massive honor to coach the Springboks and I'm grateful for the trust placed in me. Uh, he said, the main difference between the last four years and this season is that I'll be more hands-on uh, at the field sessions. In my role as director of rugby in the last four years, I continue to oversee the team structures and strategy in conjunction with Jacques and the other coaches. So it should be an easy transition back into the head coach role. Uh, he said, we already had our first coaching session this week at the hospital, and it's great to see the enthusiasm among the coaches get to get the season underway. Um, Speaking about sort of the, the next sort of uh, stage and, and what next, he says that uh, one of our key pillars in the last few years was building player depth, and we are excited about, <clears throat> about the talent available to us next season, this season. Most of the 2023 uh, World Cup winning players are still available for selection, and several young players 
now have the luxury of international and World Cup experience, which is invaluable at test level. We have a challenging test season with a test series against Ireland, um, and uh, we face Portugal for the first time a week later, and then the Castle Lager incoming series. We then have an exciting Castle Lager Rugby Championship campaign, which competes, which features two home tests against New Zealand, as well as before facing Argentina in Nelspreet. Australia overseas. With the coaching team finalists, we can now focus on planning for the season and the next few years. Uh, Rian Oldholzer, the CEO of SA Rugby, uh, said that the role of director of rugby had been mothballed pending a restructuring of the rugby department of SA Rugby to meet the evolving high performance and participation needs of the sport. Uh, right, so the first, uh, the off-field management team will be announced uh, following the team's first alignment camp, but uh, the Springbok coaching to a team is as follows. Rusty Rasmus, head coach. Zwandila Stick, assistant coach. Dion Davids, assistant coach. Don Human, assistant coach. Tony Brown, assistant coach. Jerry Flannery, assistant coach. And Andy Edwards, head of athletic performance. Here we have it. Very, very interesting. I think the Yako Paper role is a very interesting one. I think that Dwayne Premier being involved within the structures is a big boost as well. What do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.